Are those feet? Do are worms even allowed to have feet? Is this even a worm? What the heck is this thing? It looks like a Loch Ness Monster having a panic attack. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Hello my friends, welcome to Fantastic Microbes. If you're new here, my name's Jordan, and every Saturday we go on a new adventure exploring the microscopic world. Today we're looking for microbes in a desert oasis. I'm talking about Lake Pleasant, Arizona. So let's go. Actually, before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to my parents who actually went to the lake to get this footage. They went to Lake Pleasant on vacation and they went out of their way to get this footage and collect microbes for me. What kind of parents even do that? Anyway, thanks guys, let's get started. Lake Pleasant is located in Arizona, just north of Phoenix. And technically, this lake isn't even supposed to be here. I mean, there was a small river here before, but as more people moved to Arizona, demand for water exploded as well. Several large dams were built over the last century, and in the late 1970s, water from the Grand Canyon was diverted to this lake, making this one of the largest and most important artificial reservoirs in Arizona. It's a super fun lake. I even learned to wakeboard here. The only downside to this lake is the shore. It's not the kind of shore where you want to bring a towel and lay down. It's very rocky because the lake is artificial and new, so the beaches aren't really weathered. But you're not here to just learn about a lake. Let's go see the microbes. My parents collected samples from two parts of the lake. They went to the middle of the lake, and in fact, here's my dad kayaking out to go get a sample. And then they also went to the shore. The water from the shore was very clear, and I didn't think that there was anything in there until I did see a couple of little insects floating around, but I didn't have any luck catching these guys. So I figured I'd go ahead and just look at the other bottle. In the second sample, one of the first things that caught my eye was something new. I thought that I was going to be looking at a leaf, but take a look for yourself. Upon first look, it did look like a leaf. I mean, there's a vein-like structure there that's very similar to leaf patterns. But when I zoomed in, what I didn't see were leaf cells, instead these tiny little circles. And so what I figured is that these are probably fungal spores. At least, that's my best guess. I think a fungus probably broke down this leaf and then left these spores behind. I don't know a whole lot about the fungi kingdom though, so if anyone has a better guess than me, go ahead and put your comment below. All right, let's move on to the really cool stuff here. You might have seen this in the thumbnail. After shaking up this bottle a little bit, I could see some worm-like creatures floating through the debris. So I got some out with a pipette and put some on a slide, and they're a couple of millimeters long, so you can see them with the naked eye, but they were probably a lot cooler under the microscope. When I put them under, my mind was blown. These things have feet! Can worms even have feet? Are these even worms? It was cool to see them using these feet to kind of hold on to the debris or crawl around, but I had no idea what these things were. So funny story, I actually googled these guys. I, I googled so many things like worms with feet, worms with appendages, and Google gave me the weirdest results and I wasn't finding anything. It wasn't until like 11.50 last night that I was Googling and my wife was about to kiss me goodnight and like right as she leaned over to kiss me to say goodnight, I like leaned over to her and I said, I figured it out. And then she kisses me. She's like, what'd you figure out, honey? Midge fly larva. <laughs> she was like, dude. <laughs> Oh man, the things that she has to put up with sometimes. So yeah, these are the larvae of midge flies, and in a couple of weeks they'll probably grow up into adult flies. But you can see how closely they resemble worms though, right? I mean, like, they've got the segments, and they've got, you know, all these other things. I held onto this sample for about a week, and one of these midge fly larvae is a little bit bigger now, and so I got some pretty good footage. Look at these little feet! Look how cute they are! Oh my gosh! Some things in the microscopic world terrify me, and some things are just too adorable to handle, and these feet are in the adorable category. But there's a lot of other cool things in this sample that we gotta get through. I also saw some diatoms and colonial algae that each come in really cool shapes. And then there were a bunch of ciliates that were eating the diatoms. Look at this one. This looks like an x-ray of me after a Thanksgiving dinner. Look at how many diatoms are inside this ciliate. I also saw a rotifer or two. These things are really cool and really common, but you never know what size and shape that you're going to get because there are thousands of different species. Then I found this cool organism called coleps, and I learned something new about them today. Apparently they have these special organelles called toxicists, which release poison to kill their prey. Poisonous microbes, now you know. Last but not least, this is certainly the coolest thing that I saw. Behold and feast your eyes upon Lacrimaria. Lacrimaria is a predatory cilia, and it's really cool because of its long neck. This neck can stretch out to be seven to eight times its body length. It's like a microscopic giraffe or a Loch Ness monster having a panic attack. I've only heard about these guys before, and I was really excited to see them, and honestly, they're thrilling to watch. I mean, look at these things move through the substrate. Like, wouldn't that be crazy to have a neck like this? 
Now, these aren't exactly necks like human necks, but they're kind of a neck-like structure, so that's just what we're gonna call it today. So, that about wraps it up for this episode. What'd you guys think? I thought it was pretty cool to see all of this stuff in what otherwise would have been a desert wasteland. Go ahead and comment below on your favorite microorganisms that you saw in this episode, and also comment and tell me where you'd like to see me go next. It's a big world out there, and it gets even bigger when you look at it through a microscope. See you next week. Keep going. <laughs> he would wave. Yeah, he would. <laughs>